never become the Sigma male. Being the quote, Sigma male will get you no friends. And anytime someone says to me, bro, you're so Sigma. Oh my God, the dark Sigma. I just feel so disrespected. And today I'm gonna break down in six main points why being known as the Sigma is a hit to your reputation. And you should never refer to yourself as one. Apparently, according to Urban Dictionary, a sigma is defined as what all the 10-year-olds think they are. Okay, that is true. But apparently, it is a popular, successful, but highly independent and self-reliant person. Sounds great. Who wouldn't want to be successful, self-reliant, and popular? But the stigma around the word is just cooked. It's basically the new version of being an emo kid. As many people who are the sigma male cut people off, choose to be anti-social lone wolves, and they're all about the grind grind even though they don't grind. Just take all the good qualities of the Sigma male and chuck it off the balcony because most edgelords are the Sigma male for the aesthetic. So yeah, here's a sentence from Urban Dictionary if you're still confused on what it is. Unlike the simps of Twitch, David was a Sigma male as evidenced by his work ethic and the women throwing themselves at him. Wow, could not have said it better myself. You'll be drowning in pussy here just like David. No, you but seriously, being a Sigma male or the words itself just have a terrible reputation. This word is just the new shitty buzzword for edgelords to refer to themselves as. And years later, we're all gonna look at it the same way as emo. It's gonna be the corniest shit you've ever done in your entire life. Years later, it's just gonna recoil and cringe about what you've done, even with your shitty 3D wolf hoodie on. Yeah, I know you're looking at it right now. But you won't be able to walk near the people you knew during your Sigma era in the future. And this word has mainly been ruined all due to TikTok. Now on TikTok shorts and reels, there's like a bunch of cringy Sigma male edits going around. Like what the f is this? Like this is just glazing on a whole nother level. Obviously not the people in the edits are the cringy ones. It's the ones making them, putting them together. Because the unholy amounts of meat riding for another man is crazy. But yeah, it's like some shitty cat cut transition edits and there's usually a clip of someone smoking a cigar, smoking on someone's pack. And it's usually just someone who the editor believes is Sigma along with some slow plus reverbed funk music. On TikTok, there's a few characters that are just glazed beyond belief. Mainly the Joker, Patrick Bateman, Andrew and Tristan, and that one motherfucker from Oppenheimer. There's even more content surrounding Sigmas on TikTok with the whole Sigma face thing. People will just stitch a video and do the Sigma face. And, and because these edgelords watch all the Sigma videos, they unironically think they're Himothy Jones since they watch TikTok such as while you're busy partying. This is gonna to be us in five years and then there's just like an edit of like Lamborghinis just racing down the highway or something. I don't know. It, it's just weird. So yeah, I guess if you have goals, dreams, aspirations, you're not like the rest of them. Not like the rest of those bots. Become Sigma. Steer free from the bots. Break free from the Matrix. Speaking of that voice, I don't know why I call this category the Joker Manifestos, but I guess I wrote this down in my script. But yeah, being Sigma has this reputation around it for being super edgy and deep. I guess they think they're mad mysterious, mad opium, they got some intense ass theme song blaring in their headphones, or sorry, their Walkman. Theme song to their life as they're stepping foot by foot down the hall. Look at him, what a boss. You think he just runs the mafia by day, he's really trapping, but... Nope, they purposely avoid people to appear more mysterious and definitely have that default profile picture on Instagram or hell, no social media at all. But yeah, this dude will genuinely have the social mannerisms of the Joker and bro will be upvoting all these deep quotes on goddamn Tumblr or something. Bro thinking he the wise mystical tree with all the wisdom he has in his dome piece, but no, they're just cringy motivational quotes. It does not get any more cringe deep than a Sigma male. This is not a conversation you would have on the lawn chairs with your homies or the electric box late at night. These are corny quotes slash phrases that I guess they think cut deep, such as nowadays the alpha male's the loser and the Sigma male is the winner. And if you don't understand my silence, you'll never understand my words. <laughs> that hit different, sorry. But seriously, these are not hitting on the electric box. What the f is this? Sigmas just give me the vibe that they think society's crumbling. It's basically just emo mixed with popular loner who wants to be rich. And since some Sigmas have a huge desire to be rich, which of course there's nothing wrong with that, get your bread up, but they make the grind their entire personality. Now, of course, I applaud everyone that wakes up at 4 a.m., goes to the gym, bettering themselves every day. But chances are, if you're spending time mastering this Sigma persona, and if you care what people think, oh, uh, 
Do they think I'm Sigma? Chances are, you're not locked in. There's no way someone who wakes up at 4 a.m. and grinding, going to the gym, is doing this cringe ball shit like, erm, let me master the Sigma face of Patrick Bateman. They're actually putting in the work. They're not busy idolizing other men. They're locked in. Now, of course, you can be locked in, you can be on the grind, and not do this. You can do it without making the grind an entire aesthetic. The Sigma grind set, that's what they call it. And I mean, to a certain degree, everyone is working hard, unless you're a lady easy f who's fat sitting on the couch. I don't know. But most of us are hard workers. Playing into the Sigma aesthetic will just ruin the lock-in for you. You gotta focus on the bigger picture. Feeding the family, getting your family out the trenches, not being Sigma for your peers. Like being on the quiet, lonely grind set should not be your entire personality. Now this next part is a little bit of a curveball. There are people unironically creating music playlists for their Sigma grind. And they will just pick songs that they think are Sigma. And they will listen to the songs that they hear in the edits. So this isn't just an ordinary playlist. It's gotten to the point where they won't even pick their own music likes. If they heard it in a TikTok edit, they like. This is why you don't say out loud in public to everyone on a billboard sign. Oh well, I'm Sigma. There are mewing playlists. Viewing playlists, the act of putting your tongue at the roof of your mouth for better tongue posture. Yeah, so now it's not just people, the content you watch, it's now songs. Songs now determine whether you're Sigma. <laughs> Are you f***ing serious? So I guess people have this on repeat during the day. And I guess they just feel 10 times more Sigma. Genuinely, I don't get it. If anything, this conforming to what Sigma isn't Sigma. Okay, that made no sense. But if we go back to the real definition, they're the three characteristics that actually make up being Sigma. Conforming to music likes doesn't sound very Sigma to me. If you're just conforming to this entire lifestyle, you're not Sigma. Like, you're basically just glazing other men who are richer than you. Being Sigma, it was supposed to mean independently thinking and going your own route, but a Apparently, apparently not. And it was never about cutting people off and being a lone wolf and having no friends. Yep, bro will cut off his friends, be a lone wolf, ride solo. I wouldn't be surprised if bro ghosted his own family. Not sure where the loner timing came from, but you don't gotta cut off your entire bloodline and your homies to get a day's worth of work done. Tell me not, the Sigma male is that one guy at the gym that's like, Yeah, leg day, baby, but doesn't do the leg day. They just post about it. But yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But being alone from time to time will help with self-love. It can be refreshing for some. And if you, the Sigma were to go to a social event, if you were to hype hypothetically go. He would be in the corner, being all mysterious and shit, thinking to himself, Look at all these peasants. They don't know about the grind. <laughs> Losers. They don't know about this banger drop shipping product I just found. And the Sigma life that Patrick Bateman lives is pretty sad. This dude was alone for the entire movie. His house was straight crickets. And bodies. That sounds like a pretty sad life to live to me. But yet the Sigmas want to live in tumbleweeds and desert with no civilization. All for the grind. But they become Sigma. They do all this grind for one specific goal. Escaping the Matrix. Ooh, scary. But yeah, there are two routes in the mind of the Sigma male. You're either working at McDonald's from 9 to 5, or you're drop shipping, doing crypto, or whatever. I don't know where this is coming from. Maybe Andrew and Tristan, or anyone that's trying to sell them a course about how to get rich or something. Now, most of these courses are just scrotum. Like, they will not get you what you want to achieve in your life. Like, you gotta do trial and error. No one's just gonna give you the blueprint to success. Anyone can do it. You just gotta put your head down and grind and not buy anyone's stupid course. Now you're just making them richer. Like, who genuinely bought Hustlers University when it dropped? 50 bucks a month, not a good investment. Like, they are just so desperate to escape the Matrix. They don't even think about how. They don't even think about what. Like, what they even want to do. They just hope the course gives them the blueprint and that's it. That's really not how it goes. Like, they will follow Patrick Bateman like he's a blueprint. Like, here's the day in the life of a Sigma TikToker. Wake up, go eat breakfast. Oh wait, never mind. Gotta watch American Psycho for this part, my bad. But they won't even have their own morning routine. They will follow Patrick Bateman's. Alright, because they're just a D1 glazer. Even to the point where they're stretching on the floor in some tidy whities So if you want the reputation, whatever. Go ahead and be a Sigma male, I'm not your father. But if y'all gonna take anything from this video, fuck worrying about Alpha, Beta, Sigma, Delta, or whatever. Just be you at this point. Or be a Chad, that sounds pretty cool.